uh, then or the other thing is uh, you are your destiny number which is you know you sum up your entire date of birth including the first two digits of the year everything whatever is there you know like uh, 10 September 1991 you sum up okay whatever comes that is <clears throat> either 3, 7 or 9 okay so either ways if you have 3, 7 or 9 then it means uh, you have a greater capacity to respond properly to free will otherwise if you don't have any of these numbers then it means to some extent that if things are good in your life you will be very good you will be very happy and if things are not so nice in your life you will behave in the most unprofessional way okay you may not have control over your anger if you don't have any of the numbers three seven or nine at least one number has to be there and that is why three seven and nine are actually the numbers of spirituality in numerology because a spiritual person he will try to take things under his control okay they, they will not let things let let it loose just because the mind is you know telling you this is not good that is not good so first check your numerology that's very important okay then come to astrology <laughs> so in astrology which are the houses of free will the first house the fifth house the ninth house the tenth house and the eleventh house why because the first house is lagna your will and your desire the ninth house is dharma what you should do so if your ninth house is strong, you will stick to dharma, all right? Fifth house is individuality and your own uh, desires and your own beliefs about yourself, okay? So you will stay true to that. What is tenth house? Tenth house is the house which gives you power to do something in life. So there you have more free will. And eleventh house is the house of fulfillment of desire. So what happens when your desire is fulfilled? Then when your desire is fulfilled, so suppose... You put uh, a money, in, uh, some money into stock market and it, it grows like, you know, 10 times okay, in the next 20 years. So then, now after 20 years, when you withdraw this money, after paying capital gains tax, <laughs> whatever is remaining in your <coughs> bank account, with that money, you have free will. What do you do? Will, will you go and buy a car which will, you know, depreciate 50% in one or two years? Or you will reinvest it further somewhere, or you will donate it, you know, or you will do some uh, spiritual uh, activity with that money, you know, you'll build a temple or whatever, you know, well, anything that you want. So, or will you use it to, you know, indulge in, you know, wrong activities, right? So, that is why the 11th house is also the house of free will. Now, every house has free will, but these five houses, 1, 5, 9, 10, 11, these five houses, are like the champion houses of free will. But now, how do you know how much free will you have, right? So, there's no perfect formula to calculate percentage of free will, but you can still do this exercise in a way that you have to see in your horoscope. Majority of your planets, what do I mean by majority of your planets? Majority of your planets should be linked to these five houses then you have considerably higher amount of free will. What do I mean by this? So suppose among the nine planets, majority means at least four or five, okay? Five ideally, democracy. <laughs> so if you have five or more or even at least four, okay? Below four, this is dismissed. At least if you have four, but better five or more planets, Sitting in these houses or lording in these houses. Now, what does this mean? So, it means if you have six planets which are sitting in, you know, uh, suppose two planets are in the first house, you know, you have one planet in the fifth, one planet in the ninth, one planet in the tenth, and one planet in the eleventh. So, you have total six planets in these houses, okay? <clears throat> so, then you have greater free will because then you, then it means you have control over your life, okay? On the other hand, if you do not have any planets in these houses, okay, so suppose you have no planet, not even one single planet is there among all these houses, then, and in your numerology, you don't have three or seven or nine, then this person is almost like, is letting, like life is just going. 
when is good he is good when is bad he is bad good bad good bad good bad good bad good bad good bad this is going on it's like as the shrimad bhagavatam says manorathe na sati dhavato bahi the man the the chariot of the mind is taking you right manoratha manorathe na sati dhavato bahi the mind the chariot of the mind is taking you in different directions you know i am today i am attracted to him to go i am attracted to uh, another person a man is attracted to a woman um then there is well there is this there is power position now it is instagram followers <laughs> or youtube subscribers and then there is you know luxury car there is uh, so many things right so then what happens the person is just is just flowing through life you know god knows now everybody has free will in the chart you know why because uh if you see there will be many planets uh which will there will be planets which will lord these houses okay so then does it mean everybody has free will because if if all the planets are different for these five houses then you will have five lords so does it mean everybody has free will yes you are right everybody has free will and this means if if you have no planets in these houses it does not mean you don't have free will okay but it means uh, the probability that you will use your free will properly is very less but if you have planets in these houses uh, then it's fantastic and the next level if you have prominent planets what are prominent planets sun moon or lagna lord if sun moon lagna lord at least one of them is in these houses and your majority planets are also there then it is like pentas and if you have sun moon and lagna lord all three in these houses and apart from these three you have two other or more planets also in these houses and you have 3 7 and 9 in numerology all the three oof you are blessed so you will always see people who have 3 7 and 9 in numerology and who has majority planets connected to these five houses or at least you know sun moon or lagna lord more the better you will see they will think before acting this is a stark difference which way any time you are thinking before you are before acting that means you are using your free will otherwise you are thinking your the mind is just flowing and it's blowing you off okay so today the mind will say i want this tomorrow this 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 is that okay depending on your age your needs interests and desires will change right when you are just born you will want you know toys and food it's like annamaya kosh anything that is eatable <laughs> you will put it inside right sometimes <coughs> our babies will put stool and urine inside their mouth because they don't know because that they feel okay it's something i can eat right then when you are 5 to 7 you know you will want to uh, you know you will want toys you will want to explore the world a bit you know after 5 to 10 when you go to 10 to 15 you will want friends you know and then 15 to 20 you know your hormones will start raging and you will be very much attracted and obsessed with the opposite sex you know? and then from 20 to 25 you will want to make a strong career for yourself after 25 you will want to get married so 30 35 you will want you know children then 35 40 you will want a house or a car you know and then it, it keeps flowing like this okay so whoever has more planets in these houses that person is blessed in a way uh, but even if you don't have planets you still have the lords okay so no human being in this world can say i don't have free will which means you can always use your free will in the right direction nobody can say it because you have planets which are lording these houses all right so no excuses actually so this means that in this lifetime if you use your free will properly then in the next lifetime you will have more planets sitting in these houses okay and if you want to go to the next level you want to know a person who really has free will you know how do you do that you need to see where are the nakshatra lords sitting okay so for example in a chart maybe there are only three planets in these houses but majority of the planets which are there in the chart they are sitting in nakshatras ruled by these three planets okay 
suppose there are like you know uh, seven planets sitting uh, seven planets which are in the nakshatra of these three planets and you only have three planets in the uh, 1 5 9 10 11 okay then you are you are like a sthita pragya you are like yudhishthir maharaj okay if this is there and don't forget numerology 3 7 and 9 okay so these placements will give you the capacity to have a, a outside out of body experience for you now what is out of body experience ah, not not the way you know of uh, out of body experience it means suppose something happens to you and you want to act then you will come out you will somewhat you know come outside of your mind so it's actually not out of body it's out of mind experience you you are in your body yeah but you are outside of your mind and now with your intelligence you are viewing the world and you are asking yourself do i need to react in this way or maybe i can do something else all right so therefore if you have planets in these houses then you are blessed and if the nakshatra lords are also there you are doubly blessed and if your numerology has 3, 7, 9, you are even blessed. And along to that, with that cherry on the top, if you have Lagna, Lord, Sun and Moon also in these houses, oof, that's the, that's the end. Of course, you will never find anybody uh, who has all of these. You know, it's not possible. Otherwise, that person would be some very great personality. But nonetheless, you will see this in uh, very spiritual people, in very rich people, entrepreneurs, in very famous people, uh, materially, spiritually, either ways who have done something big in their life. Could be good or bad, that's a separate thing, but ha has had influence over other people. They will have these placements and combinations. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you like this video, don't forget with the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you use your free will properly. Take care. <laughs>